What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you three simple steps to help speed up and improve the performance of your Mac computer. Three simple steps, all you have to do is follow these steps and hopefully your Mac should be running at optimal performance. So let's go ahead and start with step number one. Okay guys, the first step I want you to do is go into your Macintosh HD hard drive on your Mac and simply go into applications. Now if you see any applications here that are just useless and you don't even use them anymore like Geekbench, I mean I haven't used this in a really long time so um, I would move this to the trash but I'm not going to do that right now but if you have applications like Grand Theft Auto 3, San Andreas, Vice City, I mean the last time I played these things was 82511. So as you can tell, I haven't really done anything with this game for a very long time, and that's taking up 1.63 gigabytes of hard drive space on my computer. So if you delete this, um, and just random applications and just crap that you have on your computer in your hard drive, um, this might help speed up the process, but if that doesn't work, let's go ahead and jump to step number two, and hopefully this step will also increase the performance on your Mac computer. All right guys, for step number two, we're gonna go into Go utilities and then we're going to jump down to where is it where is it where is it disk utility open up disk utility and basically what this does is it repairs and verifies disk permissions on your computer so um, what you want to do is select Macintosh HD and then you can either verify disk permissions to see if anything's messed up or you can just go ahead and repair the disk permissions you think your computer's totally messed up and you just want to jump right into the repair just hit repair disk permissions it'll come up with a list and the estimated time of all the things that it's repairing and when it's done it'll say it's completed and it'll show you the list of everything it fixed on there. And um, if this doesn't help improve the speed of your Mac computer, then there's one final step that I recommend. And this is a pretty cool and easy application to use. So this is step three. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so for step number three, I want you to download an application called AniX. Um, I will post a link to this in the description. So once that is downloaded, launch it up and it should ask you if you want to verify your smart status. I'm not going to do it now, but the first time you do it, you should do this just to make everything is okay with your Mac computer. And basically, you know, type in your password, all that crap. All right, we're verified here. And what this application does is you can do lots of maintenance, cleaning, um, make automation things and all that cool stuff. But what we want to do to help improve the speed on your Mac computer is go into cleaning. So what this will do, you can see there's lots of different options here for cleaning your Mac computer. Um, basically get rid of a lot of crap on there. So we got delete the cache from boot, kernel and extensions, all this good stuff. QuickTime components, like who cares about that? Audio components, other components, and basically everything in here. But make sure that some things that you don't want to be deleted are unchecked. Like I don't want my bookmark icons or the form values, which is like the save passwords and stuff. I don't want that stuff getting deleted, so I'm not going to do that. But basically when you select all the ones you want, just click execute and then it will clean up your Mac computer. It will speed things up, get rid of some crap that's on there. And hopefully when this is done, you know, your um, Mac computer is performing uh, better than it was before. So guys, that was basically three steps that I hope helped you improve the speed and reliability of your Mac computer. If this helped, be sure to leave a comment below. Let me know. If this doesn't, if this didn't help, uh, I tried everything I could. There are additional applications like Ani X that could help you speed up your computer. But honestly, if your computer is running like total, total crap, and you just you want to buy a new one, I would say hold off on buying a new one and try a complete restore of your system. Start from scratch, find the disk that came with the computer, or if it came with Lion then just get a um, an external flash drive and put it on there and just restart the entire process from scratch. Start from a brand new computer and see if that helps before buying a new computer. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe for more videos like this. I do lots of how-to videos. And guys, again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.